in Africa, we do lack in terms of recognizing excellence. And the NSTF and the CSR and the DST has recognized the, uh, last year within the framework of the year of light, <coughs> sorry, within the framework of the year of light, excellence in South Africa when it comes to uh, 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 lasers and optics. In that regard, and directly to recognize uh, as such uh, uh, contribution, uh, there was a specific award uh, within the International Year of Light for as such. And uh, Dr. Andrew Forbes was the one who received that recognition in that sense, recognizing not only himself, but also the team. It's uh, Ms. Dudley, who is here, Nksobo, uh, Sandil Nksobo is uh, really the pioneer in this, and hopefully other awards will come. The second aspect that I would like to share with you is the fact that uh, light speeds fast. Now, that's a, ten, a certain constant. It does not stop. We can indeed have an International Year of Light in 2015 with the United Nations, but uh, light does not stop. Therefore, we should have Year of Lights every time. And uh, uh, as we say, uh, in a jamais trop tard, it's never late as much as you jump on the train. Uh, uh, the other thing that I would like really to share with you is that in fact, uh, if there is excellence in the continent, I really am a witness of it on a daily basis. If there is an excellence of it, being involved in a number of policy makers, commissions, committees of the African Union in, uh, 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 in Addis Ababa and in Ethiopia, in particular in Ethiopia and in Kenya, there is a, a major component which always comes as a role model, the African Laser Center, working in an extremely small finances but achieving so much. The African Laser Center is a virtual center which was born and directly as an extension of the National Laser Center in 1999, during the first meeting of Am Am AMCOST, the minister uh, uh, meetings of, uh, of Africa, so I, th I must admit, we have to give back to Caesar, which belongs to Caesar, and to Cleopatra, which belongs to Cleopatra. I, the photonics aspect has been and is the true role model of excellence of science and technology in Africa with a minute amount of fundings. As you can guess, if you are a businessman, a woman, I want to invest one rand. I want to have one rand and X. This is the one. If it was not, Ahmed Ziwal will never, the Nobel Prize in photonics, in optics, you know, the father of the 4D electron microscopy, and the father of ultra-fast laser spectroscopy would never make such a statement at the Place Fontenoy in Paris. And singling out, sorry, and singling out in particular the role of South Africa and the Department of South Africa in particular, Department of Science and Technology in South Africa. That is said, I would like to share with you please as an adoptive South African, the journey of the, uh, 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 of, uh, the light. I will, what I would like to do is just to go with you. I, I like optics. You know, when I came from Algeria to France, this is the one that I have chosen. I liked optics. When I was a shepherd in the mountain, I always liked the stars and the sun. I always asked questions. Why we have this rainbow? When I went to France, the, uni the, the, the discipline I have had to choose, they told me this is the one that brings you more money, more salary, and so on. I have made my choice. The one that will make me poor. I have chosen to do science. <laughs> so therefore, I, have, I went, I have chosen to do optics. And in fact, 
if you go to any multilayered system, you will find out that Abeles, Florent Abeles, a Jew from Romania, who gave me a bursary for six months from his own pocket. This is a really outstanding. Nonetheless, when we speak about optics and light, in effect, there is a huge, huge amount of component which comes in. And we share them every day. Whenever you are in your house, on your office, the light switched on, day or night, day you have the sun, night you have the, the moon, if you are not outside, and if you are inside, you have the emission of the walls, the infrared. So therefore, you are always inundated by light. You cannot see that light in the afternoon, in the evening, in the night, but the cat sees it. So light is a majestuous component of all our daily life. It's really hard to state or to make a statement that uh, 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 within a nanosec or a femtosec or a, a picosec that you will not receive light. No, you are surrounded by light.